Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Pop and Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing again today. Uh, today, I have probably one of the best LeBron shoes I've ever had on this table. This is the special edition Nike Zoom Generation LeBron Slam collaboration, and let's get into it. So for those that are in the basketball world, you know about Slam Magazine. They sent over this special package. First and foremost, this is a friends and family release. This is not going to release to the public, so I apologize for that, but I did want to give you guys a closer look at them because I think these are really dope, and these tell a story that we don't often see with any sneaker at all. So this collaboration really kind of builds the hype, one for LeBron and also Slam Magazine, which we all know and love, especially those of us that grew up loving basketball the way that I grew up loving basketball. So here are the shoes, but let's just quick take a quick look at the packaging. So they came in this special edition box, which you can see has the Slam logo there. And then all over the box, it has a bunch of different like laser etched things. Now this is laser etched a little bit. You can see they have the Slam logo. They have um, a Nike guy logo. They just have a bunch of things that have to do with LeBron. Now, this is actually a sleeve. The actual box comes out, so you do still get the normal Nike Zoom generation box, uh, but it has the LeBron L23 logo. See there, the 30 years of Slam magazine logo there. Has the big Slam there going across it. Same thing on the other side, but then the top, you get all of this laser etching, which I think really looks really dope. Now, they came in, again, came in the normal box. You don't get an extra set of laces or anything like that. You do get the shoes. So let's get into those and break those down and really tell the story of this shoe because I think this shoe is really, really important when it comes to one, Slam, and when it comes to LeBron James and for Nike. For those that don't know that are new to the sneaker world, the Zoom Generation was LeBron's first signature shoe with Nike. Back in 2003, he was literally the most hype athlete in the world, and Nike was able to establish a deal with him. He was being courted by Adidas, he was being courted by Reebok, and he turned all of them down to sign with Nike. And this shoe is the result of that partnership that began way back then. Uh, as far as the designer goes, things with LeBron started out with Tinker Hatfield. A lot of you know about Tinker, uh, but it did not end with Tinker. So it was Tinker Hatfield, Eric Avar, who is a legend. If you've worn Kobe's, you've probably worn an Eric Avar Kobe, and then Aaron Cooper. Aaron Cooper is ultimately the guy that gets the credit for the design of this shoe. And this shoe went through a lot of different iterations, and this is the final result. And this version is actually more true to the original drawings than what actually released to the public. Now, the reason why this is so important in Slam's history is because Slam was there to really hype up LeBron from the beginning. Even when he was in high school in Akron, Slam was giving LeBron a ton of love. They kind of had the insight to know that he was going to be special, that his greatness was just starting to begin, and they were early in on the story. And so they gave LeBron the cover back in 2003, which is what these are inspired by. So let's kind of get into some of the details here of this shoe so you can get a better idea of what it's all about. Again, all about Slam, and you can see here that they have the Slam logo there on the heel, which kind of gives you an idea of how deep the story goes between these two. And then something else that you notice right away if you are a LeBron Zoom Generation fan is the Nike swoosh. So this Nike swoosh is tiny compared to what the shoe actually has when it released to the public. The white, red, and black colorway, which was the original colorway or the first colorway of the Zoom generation, has a giant Nike swoosh right here. You know that there's a big giant Nike swoosh that goes here across this side panel. For this version of the shoe, they removed that and kept it to the original and put the swoosh here up on the side. Now, it really gives the shoe a totally different look without the giant swoosh there on the side. And something that it allows Nike and really anybody to do is play with the storylines around the shoe a lot more because you have this wide open panel to really tell a deeper story 
about LeBron. So you have all of this extra space to tell a story, really this whole entire side panel, everything from really the Nike swoosh on down all the way across can tell a totally different story about LeBron just with the swoosh being moved from here up to the top. Now, some of the things that I've read about the Zoom generation when it first was being developed is that LeBron wasn't necessarily so concerned about the style of the shoe. And the style of this shoe is very specific to LeBron. What Aaron Cooper has said is that he wanted this shoe to feel like something for a soldier, which is a bit of a throwback to LeBron when he was in high school because his AAU team or his traveling team would wear these camo type uniforms. And that was to show discipline. And so this shoe has a little bit of that soldier feel. Uh, Cooper is often quoted as saying that he wanted this to feel a little bit like the Nike SF boot, which is their special forces boot. Now, the other design inspiration for this boot, which is the one that really gets more love, is that it was designed a little bit after the Hummer that LeBron's mother got for him while he was in high school. And that's where you get a lot of the square sort of shapes that you see on the shoe, particularly here on the toe box where you see that square there. You see some of these lines here were about the lines that you see on the Hummer. And then this big piece here on the back, here, take that off there. This big piece here on the back was also inspired by the Hummer as well. Now, despite this shoe having so many ties to the Hummer, including the eyelets that you see here, LeBron's major concern with the shoe was all about comfort. Aaron Cooper has been quoted as saying that LeBron wanted his shoe to be comfortable. It wasn't about performance necessarily. He just wanted his shoe to be comfortable and comfortable these are. They are a big, big and bulky for someone like me, but for a guy like LeBron, this seems to fit right inside of his wheelhouse. Now, one of the stories that Slam is trying to tell is that they're celebrating their 30th anniversary. And that has kind of gone into this sneaker as well. Slam has their logo again there on the heel. You can see it a little bit here in some of the laser edge printing. You see the Slam logo. It's all integrated into this side panel. And this slide panel tells a lot about LeBron's beginning. So you have Akron, which is obviously where LeBron is from. You have, I'm a Nike guy. You have 330, which is the area code there. You have Chosen, which is LeBron's tattoo that he has tattooed on him. Again, more Akron here. I'm a Nike guy. And it has some of the stats from LeBron's rookie year all embedded into this side panel of the shoe. Now, something you may also notice is that this shoe is red, which is not the original colorway of the shoe. This wasn't the colorway of the shoe, quote unquote, in the beginning. Well, this is based on some of the things that LeBron wore during that initial photo shoot. And so they flipped the color scheme to instead be of the white, black, and red to be the red, black, and white. So in a sense, this is the bread colorway of the LeBron Zoom generation. Another note that they put here is since the beginning. You see since the there, and then you have the beginning on that one there. This is noting basically that Slam was there in the beginning when LeBron first started his career. And again, this shoe is a representation of that. And then you also have inside the tongue, I don't know if you can see that here. Let's see if we can get it on this camera here. Inside the tongue tag there, kind of like the Hummer lights, it says LeBron. You can't really see it there. You have that on both of them. And then on the tongue, you have the Slam logo there. And then on this one, you have the L23 logo there as well. Now, again, these are a friends and family release and they're not going to release to the public. But as far as storytelling goes, I love the way that they embrace LeBron's early years and everything that has happened with the magazine and combine all of those things together. And in a sense, they really helped elevate this sneaker. They have this new buck upper, they have this soft touch lining, and then they even have custom insoles, which is something that I always, always love. Noting this, that this is one part about LeBron, but also about the, the history and the story of Slam Magazine and how far the magazine has come. And here, you can really see some of the stories that they tell. You have the Slam, you have I'm a Nike guy, you have the 23, you have James Gang, you have I am a Nike guy, you have the LeBron King logo, you have the L23, you have the Chosen one. All of these pieces are bits 
in parts of LeBron's early story, a story that's really still being written. Now, being someone that has watched LeBron over the years, it's really cool to see Slam tap back into the story of LeBron and bring a lot of it to light. We get so caught up in the now and what's happening now that we often forget about some of the stories and some of the things that have brought us to this point. And this shoe does a fantastic job of bringing that all together. And I really enjoy what they have done. So for you guys, I really want to know what does something like this mean to you? Is this a sneaker that you would actually buy? Is this something that you would want into your collection? And really, why? For me, I want it because it tells LeBron's story. It tells Slam stories. And both of those things have had a huge impact on me. Slam Magazine showed us basketball and it showed us sneakers in a way that it's hard to really fathom the sneaker culture the way that it is today without Slam Magazine. And for them to do this on a sneaker and not not only this one, they actually have a couple more. I have another unboxing for you guys coming really soon. Uh, should I give you guys a hint? Yeah, I'll give you guys a hint. So it's, um, how far can I take it? Uh, just maybe show you the toe box there, there. Okay, that right there. That's enough. That's enough. So I'll have that coming for you guys very soon. But I would really want to know, would you want this in collection? And why would you want this in your collection? Is it about LeBron? Is it about the sneaker? Is it about Slam Magazine? Or is it about a mix of all of those things? Anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.